Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to do a quick status update and show you how it's going with Notion to Anki. So <clears throat> if you haven't uh, seen the messages on Discord, the beta program is open. You can uh, register by joining the waitlist. And uh, just to, I'm clear about this. Why do we make it a waitlist? Why not just give everybody access? Well, it turns out that uh, the Notion integration is still uh, in beta. It, means from the Notion side, they're still working on it and uh, not everything is there and some things are uh, weird, like bugs and so on. So I'm not going to go into all of the details. If you're interested, you could always go on GitHub and just look at all of the open issues and read up and so on, right? Let's uh, check it out. So beta access. So you can see you get into this uh, search page basically where you can start typing in um, nothing, for example. And then it's just going to search through everything, right? And you can see I have uh, a bunch of pages here. So you can see what kind of type it is, right? Left-hand side says it's a page or a database. So we support pages and databases. And um, there are three buttons. So this one button here is going to show you some options. on, uh, Like you can change what is a flashcard. Currently, the public version of uh, tuanki.net people using today, it only supports toggles. But in the new one, you can use bullet list, number list, and so on. And you can change what the tag is. Basically, this will let you uh, get more flexibility on defining what is a flashcard, right? And it's very cool. So I actually played around using bullet, uh, bullet list. I don't really use it that much, but it's actually, it's nice to have the option. So let's leave that as is now. There's a Anki icon button here. When you click that, it's basically going to trigger the conversion you already know, right? We're going to do that. But before we do that, uh, if we look at this button here, when you click this, it's going to open the Notion page. So you can very easily go to the Notion page or go back, right? Close it. And there is the settings, which is similar to the way it worked before. There is actually one new uh, setting here, which is email notification. So if it takes a while to convert your page, or database, you can uh, say you want an email. So let's turn that on and save. And it's, I really like the email feature, but uh, during testing, one user did not like it. Uh, they got sick and tired of all of the emails. So I turned it off um, by default. You have to, so you have to enable it in the settings, right? You have to say you want the email. So let's uh, convert this. You click the APKG thing, and then you get into a new page here, which is the uploads page. And it's gonna show you a job started, very cryptic. I need to improve this. <laughs> But if you click the refresh, you're going to see that um, this changed. You see your page uh, name here or the APKG. And uh, you also see how much quota you have. So currently in this version uh, on the waitlist or the beta access, uh, there's a 21 MB limit. And the reason why I'm limiting it to 21 MB is because uh, I don't want to pay insane amounts of server costs. Sorry, I just... I. I I don't want to spend my own personal money on giving people all around the world free server access. That's not going to happen. It's not to be selfish, guys. It's just, it's expensive. Like if, imagine Notion to Anki has like a few hundred, 200 users or something. If I give them like 200, uh, like 200 MBs, that's going to be a big number, right? And I don't want to pay the storage uh, fee for that. It's just, I'm not that generous, sorry. So 21 MB is the number I figured out it's acceptable for me personally and that I can personally spend my own money on. We do have amazing Patreons that are supporting the project. Thank you. I appreciate it. But the Patreon number is going down. It's not going up. So, and I know it's, it's probably my fault for not promoting the Patreon thing as much as I should have. So if you want to support the project and you would like to um, give us some dollars, the Patreon link is going to be pinned to this video and also in the description because the patrons, they are covering the server costs. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But the default is going to be 21 MB. So um, when you use up the quota, well, let's actually try to use some more. Let's, uh, you're going to see it's going to be updating. So HTML, mm, let's convert this. So the more you use it, uh, the more... Um, the less quota you have, and then eventually it's not gonna, it's gonna stop converting your cards. So you're gonna have to either delete one, which you can do here, or you can delete all of them, right? So I should actually find a big thing to convert. Yeah. Yeah, let me actually find uh, something big. So let's search for learn. 
There's some rate limiting. If you are right and then it triggers too many requests, you're gonna see this error message. But I'm gonna fix this, guys. This is just temporary. Yeah, here you can see this is actually a database, right? So you can convert, let's actually look at it. This is my learn database. And I have a bunch of, uh, hopefully nothing weird is gonna show up, you know? Sometimes we learn weird stuff. But you can see a bunch of articles. Um, I, I don't think I wanna use this one because it has 100 plus pages, 274. Let's not use that one. I think I have another database, which is a little bit smaller and it's called Remember. So let's pick this one. You can see this database um, has uh, a bunch of uh, pages, right? And they have the Anki syntax. And you can see uh, it's, yeah, I don't know how many it is, but it's less than 200, definitely. So let's uh, click on convert that. And you can see it started the conversion. So it's a little bit annoying that you have to constantly keep refreshing, but um, so if you remember the previous um, deck or the first deck we clicked to convert, uh, finish, and I got an email here. It has the deck name in the title, it's ready. And then uh, you can uh, see the deck is attached. So if the deck is smaller than uh, the 20 MB, which is the max limit on emails, then it's just gonna be attached and you can click download and then you have the APKG. I really like this. So you can uh, go to Anki, I think I'm going to use Anki 2135. You don't need to use an old one, but uh, I just want to use this one for demo purposes. So let me open that and then import. So download, so you can see here's the APKG. Bam. And you, yeah, okay, so this is a bug. It looks like it created uh, two, uh, two decks. Uh, I need to fix that, that's a bug. Uh, so you see here it is. So that's actually the, a good summary of it. There, there are bugs that have to be addressed, right? So wh what's gonna happen? Well, first of all, uh, I wanna um, wrap up this process here. When you click uh, the convert part, right? When you click this one and you get into this page and you have some, some active con jobs, that's what I call it, but it's basically the conversion process. That needs to be resolved. Um, it's a little bit annoying that you have to manually press refresh and then it shows up here. Ah, now you can see the quota is being used uh, used up, right? There are some limitations with regards to speed. Uh, I haven't really tried hard to do optimization work, like speed it up drastically, but I should do some optimization work uh, soon. Optimization, for those who don't know, uh, it basically means make it faster so it's not so slow. Because you can see this page here, uh, no, this is a database, I think. This database here, is uh, still converting because it's huge, um, or it's not huge, huge, but it has multiple pages and those pages have attachments and it takes time for it to go through all of it, right? So that's something I need to yeah, address. You can see, um, yeah, this refresh process is not ideal. I can see some padding issue here. There should be some spacing. There are some uh, bugs in the user interface that need to be resolved, make the process smoother. Uh, and there's also some features which are just not implemented yet because I haven't gotten around to them. That's it uh, for now. Uh, wrapping up, uh, definitely if you, if you can afford it, uh, this is not required. Uh, you don't have to support the project as a patron. But if you can afford it, uh, please do support the project because um, like the server costs are real and um, there are multiple tiers. So pick one that works for you. Right now I'm not charging anyone for anything to use the service, but uh, eventually uh, if we want to improve the service over time, we either have to charge and that was the plan and still is the plan. Uh, but first um, the notion integration has to be good. So let me just repeat this for people who uh, just don't get it. So the beta program is going to be free. The Notion integration I'm working on will be available for everybody. It's being developed in this way because the Notion API itself is beta and Notion is encouraging people to communicate to people that the integration is beta, right? So they have a public beta and um, we are going to support the API our long-term goal is to have synchronization support, right? Where you can change something in Anki and then it happens in Notion and vice versa, right? That's our long-term goal. But a step towards that is first, 
support the Notion API, which is in beta, and it's going to improve over time. It's going to get really good, like in the future, it's going to be amazing, right? And it's pr still pretty cool what you can do today, but it's a work in progress, right? That's one thing. And then the second thing is the Anki Web integration. Anki Web itself doesn't have a public API, and uh, I need to try to communicate upstream to with the Anki uh, developer and see what's, what we can do, right? We have to ask um, for permission, uh, and hopefully we can use the API, but it's possible that they're going to say no, right? That's not going to happen, but let's see what happens, right? But but basically, we need some kind of integration with OnkyWeb because then we can bridge Notion and OnkyWeb and then we can have more stability between the two, right? Between your notes and your flashcards and then do magical things like synchronization. You change something, bam, right? So that's what we want to do. And that part, the synchronization part, that's the one part I, I want to monetize, right? So I can continue working on it because it's work, guys. It's it's not like oh, uh, you just abracadabra, sim salabim, some code shows up magically. It's not. Somebody actually has to sit down, write the code, do the work, spend time away from friends and family to focus, and then right. So I have made another video about uh, this why I'm doing it, but I just wanted to repeat it because I've seen some sentiment where people are just uh, they're pissed off because you're going the monetization route, right? Why not just give it everything away for free, right? What, am I going to take both the server cost and the time cost? Like, come on, give me a break. Like, that's so, so some people are so selfish that um, it, it shocks me, right? That, that they don't see the numbers. Like, the person is giving away their time and they're supposed to give away their money too. Like, come on, like... The, there is fairness, there's a balance, and I, I truly believe in open source, I truly love it, and uh, there are some challenges, but I don't see, and I'm not going to justify uh, going the 100% free route, that's just, I get the user perspective, right, where a person just wants to use for free, but remember, this is a service, somebody has to operate the service, the service has costs in it, Open source, I've, I've repeated it on Discord multiple times, open source is not really free. Somebody's taking up, somebody's paying for something somewhere. It's just not the, necessarily the user, right? So in this case, it's uh, me as the maintainer. And fortunately, we do have very kind, generous people. Uh, currently, it's 17, but I think it's uh, down to 16. I'm not sure. I have to check that. So yeah, if you want to um, support the project currently, and the development of the Notion uh, integration, you can do that via Patreon. Uh, and it's not required. You don't have to do it. I'm just encouraging you to do it. And um, I, I hope long term I'm able to get enough support for the project. Because if not, I'm, 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 I'm being upfront, guys. I'm not going to take the, the, both the time investment cost and the financial cost of running a service which has a lot of users, right? That's just not going to happen. Uh, I'm being totally honest upfront about it. Then I would rather have a quota limit, right? It sucks to have 21 MB as the limit, but <laughs> to have hundreds of users and uh, allowing them to convert stuff just for free, I think this is fair. Uh, I don't see, like, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to make this project like both the time sync and a money sink. That's not going to happen. I just, yeah, I'm being upfront with you guys. Uh, I would r much rather than the service operates with limitations, uh, artificial limitations, just so it can operate with low costs, right? Because, uh, yeah, that's just uh, my viewpoints. And l let me know in the comments what you think about it. I, I, I totally get it if you disagree. And uh, you can also downvote the video. That will also send me a signal on uh, what you guys think, right? But uh, I hope uh, this explained uh, the current state of affairs. And uh, for the people on the beta access who have joined, uh, have joined, uh, sorry if there's a delay on uh, giving you access. It's just I need to fix some things so um, the service is not broken for everybody, right? Because when you're using the API, it generates a lot of requests and a lot of uh, data. And uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to make sure that things are done in a proper order. 
So sorry if it takes time before you get access, but you're gonna get access and you're you're not gonna be required to be a patron to get access for the beta integration. Th that version is gonna be improved and that's gonna become free. The synchronization is what's gonna be a fee. That, that's what's not gonna be free. So I hope this clarified. And if somebody's still wondering what does Alexander mean or what do you mean by this and this, just ask in the comments and I'll try to clarify or ask on Discord, whatever, whatever you prefer. So. Yeah, I'm losing my voice. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded a video. Uh, for anybody wondering when, when are we back on Twitch, uh, the goal is to be back on Twitch in February. So yeah, happy new year, my friends. And uh, until next time, happy learning.